Welcome back to part two of our lesson. We're talking about uh, women uh, need to wake up and uh, step up. It's well documented that uh, young that young ladies that uh, young well, young women have always had a lot of influence on the direction that men take and made decisions to make changes in their lives. The problem we may be facing with some young young ladies are that you're not really respecting yourself. You talk any kind of way. You do, you use dirty language. Uh, you run around the car with a bunch of uh, hip hop or whatever kind of uh, songs and blasting it loud, songs calling you uh, vulgar names and even some of you are wearing the clothes where your body is showing uh, just excessively. And then when young man whistle at you or say something to you vulgar, you feel like you're being harassed. Well, you have to first look at yourself. Look at the kind of standard that, that the kind of standard that you're setting, and ask yourself the question: the, the the way I'm carrying myself as a young lady, what kind of influence am I making? Can I make on a, a young man? Or better yet, what kind of message am I saying? Am I am I sending? Now it's well documented that a lot of young people, young men, and young ladies as well, you leave home because you feel you want to be you're grown. That's true. All right. Now, understand also with being grown, that means you have there are consequences to the action that you take. Okay. If you're a young lady and you're living with a man and you're not married to him, and you've been living with him for a long time, and you're wondering when he's going to give you a ring and say, "Hey, let's time, let's get married," you might be waiting a long time. You could be waiting a long time. Why would a man be? Why should a man? Why should a man be in a hurry to marry you? Be already in the house with you, sleeping with you, getting all the benefits of uh, what a husband gets from a, a, a wife. Then you might you might want to think rethink what you're doing. Time for you to make a change. So it's very important as a young for you as a young lady to re, to go back and re-examine you what you are, what kind of a lifestyle you are presenting to others. And by virtue of the lifestyle, what kind, are, you, are, the, are the negative actions coming towards you? Are you causing those things to become a part of your surroundings? Young women, you must step up. Too many young men are sagging their pants. And, it, and it, to be honest about it, you know, we know, it looks just like bums. Okay. Okay, and a lot of these young men are perceived, they, they may not be, but they're perceived by the public as being bums, ready to commit a crime. And black males are already face a lot of stereotype anyway. And this kind of behavior is not just young by young black men. This kind of behavior is by adults. I've seen some black males in the fifties walking around with their pants sagging up behind, setting a terrible example to the young black male. Now, the thing is though, it has to stop at some point. Where you come in as a young lady is that when you have high standards, the young man that God's bring for you he will, he will have to make some adjustments in order to be with you. In other words, you don't drop your standards as a young woman with someone who don't really have much standards. You have to hold your standards and help to groom the young man. Young women, you'll step up. Too many young men are sagging their pants. They look like a bunch of bums, okay, ready to commit a crime. Okay, and when, and when they're walking around like that, 
you know, when they come to you as a young lady and they're cursing and they're saying all kind of dirty things, they're really saying to you, I don't respect you. Because if I respect you, okay, I won't talk about that around you. Now myself as a, as a Christian man, majority of the time when I meet anyone, okay, even people who have vulgar languages, they'll say to me, oh, uh, they, they want, they want, either they want to curse around me, or they'll say, okay, oh, excuse me, sir, I didn't mean to say that. But if a young man can come around you and constantly saying dirty things to you, okay, laughing at you, touch you anytime you want to, all right, have all kind of vulgar conversation with you, chances are he don't respect you. But then you go, now, if he don't respect you and you are one that do, are holding high standards, then you let it be known, okay, that you don't tolerate that kind of action and that the individual refuse to uh, leave you alone, then you should do what you should do. You should, you should file a complaint. You fight back. You have to fight back spiritually and naturally as well. Now, there are time, may come time in your life with a young lady that you may desire to have a mate. Okay, now I'm going to read a scripture and show you something here. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 22 say, says, When a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. He said that the man went out and he found his wife. He never said, you have the young lady go out searching for a man. No matter if you call it a train, it's the new thing or whatever, it's not what God intended. You gotta get in line with God and then God will give you what you need. Otherwise you're gonna end up with a real, real someone that really make your life miserable. Chasing after a young man is a, is a sign of desperation. And it could it could work against you. Don't throw yourself, young lady, out to this anyone. Don't throw yourself off to some non-motivated, non -motivated, pants sagging, don't want to work type guy, okay, that just wants to sleep with you, get you pregnant, tell that boy that he had sex with you, move on, and you left with kids. Because that's what you're facing when you put yourself in that situation. And now, if you're a young woman who who made the mistake of trusting some young man and you got pregnant and have ch children for him, okay? Then don't, I don't want you kn knocking yourself down either. Now, I understand this too, young lady. If you have a child for a man, for a man, that child is not a mistake. That child is the human being that you and him brought in this world. I understand. So you have a responsibility to take care of that child, to love that child. And when you look at that child, you don't look at, you don't look at the mistakes that you and this man made. You look at that child the way God looked at that child. Look at that child that belongs to God. And you take care of that child the best that you can. And you don't, and you don't speak things, negative things against yourself. Because your mistake and his mistake was not when this child came to the world. The mistake was when you had that sexual relationship outside of marriage. So often, young ladies, what happens is young ladies have children and some just become angry and take the anger out on the child. Don't do that. That child is not after coming to the world. Your child is brought in the world. You have that child. Now, young lady, if that's what you have to do with, you love your child. Young woman, you must raise your standards. The question was asked to me, why it seemed that so many African-American males end up in jail? And the politically correct answer would seem to be, place the blame on the legal system, place the blame on the parents, place the blame on the, on the, uh, the media, place the blame on the community they live in. We live in a country with a big problem. We have a huge, gigantic problem. We have many problems, but one, we have one huge, gigantic problem that we don't, young lady, consider to be a, a, a gigantic problem, but it is. And I'm going to tell you that problem is. 
the blame game. Whatever you did as a young lady, whatever mistake that you made, you don't go back and blame on your mother. You mentioned my mother didn't raise me properly. You can't go back and blame your mother because now you are an adult. You are responsible for your actions and you need to act that way. You want to be, you want, when you're home, you want to get to the point where you can have your freedom and now you have your freedom. And when you make your mistakes and your bumps down the road, you need to own up to them, be accountable, and move forward with your life. Blaming others because of the way you fail is not a sign of maturity. It is a sign of immaturity. And it's not a sign that you're going to go move forward, but a sign that you're going to move back. What you do, you learn, we, what we all do as adults, young adults, older adults, elderly, whatever, we learn from our mistakes. And we pray God help us not to make the same mistakes over and over. But what we don't want to do, we don't want to drag out our children into the mistakes that we make. The political, again, the political uh, answer would be to say that the blame on the legal system, parents, and community. Many young men make a choice to break the law. And when they make a choice to break the law, there are the consequences. As a young African woman, if you make a choice to break the law, there's consequences. If you make the choice, young lady, to give up your body to some man before you're married, you, you face the consequences of probably of, of getting pregnant, having diseases, or whatever. But whatever you end up with, you make the consequences. Now, Jesus is unlike man. God does not throw us aside when we mess up. God tells us to repent and we move forward. It's very important, y'all, to understand that God, Jesus loves you. And he doesn't, want, he doesn't hold your mistakes, of, of, mistakes against you. God wants you to allow him to clean you up. And he wants to make you someone that he can use very, very powerfully in, this, in the gospel. But it's very important as a young lady for you to understand that you have to work on getting that self-respect. You have to work on uh, you have to work on being accountable for the, your actions. And you and even if you got prayed by that man, you cannot blame it on him. If he did not force himself on you, okay, when you were there enjoying the pleasure, you were enjoying the pleasure of it. Now you can't look at that child and get mad at that child or anything. What you do now. And with godly love, you raise your kid and you love him. Okay? And that will make your life a whole lot better. You have a whole, be a whole lot less strife in your life. If you need to adjust your attitude, ask God to help you to adjust your attitude. What you must understand as a young lady is that, and you, know, you notice I've talked somewhat about young men, and this really supposed to be about young lady, but there's a reason for that too. Many of our young men are on the break of destruction. Caught up in drugs, stealing dope, living violently on the street, stealing, committing all kinds of crimes. And the question I pose to you as a young lady, that's why I talk about standards, this question, are you, are you the only going to let them take you down with them? You have to make a decision as a young lady that I'm not going to let some pants sagging, don't want to work, dope selling, non working, lack of respect for individual, pull me down. I'm going to get, a, I'm going to get away, away from that situation, and I'm going to get away from that relationship as soon as possible. See you. Yeah,